Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about some of the news coming out of Comic-Con regarding He-Man and She-Ra. Yep. And uh, good news and bad news. Well, well or good news. To me, it's bad news. Whatever. Depending on how you view it. Uh, clearly, though, my takeaway from San Diego is I think Mattel cares more about He-Man than She-Ra. I think they have for a long time, actually. They have. It's it's almost like Shira is sort of the secondary. I mean, it always kind of has been, but it became very apparent mm -hmm. this year um, that Mattel is putting like betting heavy on on He Man. Well, they let somebody ruin Shira, so you know. <laughs> so before we get into the video, please subscribe to Clownfish TV if you have not already. It's definitely helping the channel. Thank you so much uh, to all of you who watch. We found out that only sixty or only thirty percent of our our subscribers make up our watch time there's like 60 percent of you that haven't subscribed yet so yeah. please do that please do that. yes if you do that we can hit 100,000 a lot faster there we go. 100,000 100,000 <laughs> so we want so these are freaking badass they are really cool it was really funny is i don't know if you can show it but there's a video oh, there's a video it. mattel did and i don't know if you can show part you have to pause it like here now i don't think you want to get demonetized so um but they did this really funny thing with this little video i wouldn't play too much of it oh i don't think we're good look they've got the old school okay so they got the old school uh masters of the universe figures chasing now okay so let's backtrack a little bit here we haven't told people what these these actually are oh, these sorry. are these are remakes of the original masters of the universe figures with better articulation right and they're coming out next year which would be nice if they did that with shira and you know it brushable would, hair it would be great so the video they show why uh That's hilarious super articulated he-man is better than old school he-man um obviously he can he can run outrun these guys uh, but check this out. He uh, fights them pretty pretty easy. Um, this is great, though. Like, look at that. He can spin his sword around. He's gonna take on Whiplash. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna grab him and throw him. And then this is this is hilarious here. Like Skeletor is chasing him with his stubby little legs, right? But super articulated He-Man can do that. And then like oh, this is hilarious. then Skeletor is like, oh, if I can only reach my staff. Oh, he can't because his arms don't go that way. Meanwhile, super articulated He-Man's all hanging out. He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nope, nope. Can't have it. Can't have it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So it's really, it's really cute. It's really funny. That was so, hilarious. So while, while Mattel is doing these really fun, uh, you know, homages to old He-Man and all this stuff, then you got, you got, uh, Hasbro doing pop up pony where they mock My Little Pony. They mock it. That's their takeaway. Yeah. Their takeaway is to mock 80s ponies. Yeah, this is where, okay, so we did a video on this where they're bringing the old school. Now, they're these weird, like Frankenstein ponies. They're bringing, um, they're like G3 style bodies with the uh, Friendship is Magic characters. And G1 color schemes. And G1 color schemes. It's really freaking weird. But they did this thing where they were doing Pop Up Pony where they basically mocked the old 80s show. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what that's their takeaway. Hasbro is going to mock the old 80s shows where Mattel has turned around and they're going to bring it back. And then they, they're they kind of mocking the old toys with this video because they're not articulated enough. But it's still done in a way that's funny and that, yeah. um, you know, more because they're trying to do, they're trying to just update, but make it look like the old toys. Yeah, these are great. Um, I mean, I like the Masters of the Universe classics, but I like these better, I think, because they still have those uh, Masters of the Universe proportions. They look almost identical to their 80s counterparts. They're even going to come in the packaging. Right. The original packaging now, with the These are going to be out fall of 2020. So yeah. they're promoting these. Oh. Way in advance, which we're going to talk early. about that in a minute. Yeah, so here they just had an update on Thursday. They said uh, Masters of the Universe had the largest and most bizarrely diverse cast of characters of any A's toy line. So after yesterday's reveal of He-Man Skeletor being the first two characters, uh, we can now reveal that Tila and Evil Lynn will also be resurrected. They're going to redo everybody. You know they are. They need to do Shira with brushable hair. Yeah. So so they have that going on. Now, that Mattel is promoting this more than a year ahead of time. Yeah, look at all the other look at all the other uh, Masters of the Universe stuff coming out too. Um, obviously these oh, guys. Oh, are nice. Nah. But we'll talk about Shira here in a second. So let's get skip past this, and we'll talk. But they've got yeah, look, they've got more Mega Blocks coming out. They have um, Point Dread. Cool. They've got Castle Grayskull. Oh, that's pretty. Look, awesome. Stinkor, Fisto, like the whole freaking crew. Moss Man. I think he's flocked. Oh my god, that's. Oh awesome. no, he's not flocked. Well, he's still awesome. He was flocked. 
but they're really ramping up. Look at that Rotar. They've got all the vehicles and everything. They're really ramping up Masters of the year. Universe. Yeah, for next year because they have a movie. Well, they have the out. yeah the movie, which we still don't know how it's gonna go. But the fact that they're pushing the old style is, I think, a little encouraging. But so you have that Mattel is promoting this, you know, more than a year ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, you know, five seasons early. They're promoting. You know, if you go by like summer, spring, right, winter, right. Or whatever. Five seasons early. They're promoting it. Meanwhile. They just dropped that she was coming out in a month, and it looks like they threw it together. Um, so we got pictures of that. It's coming out August at mm. Target. It's gonna be they're gonna be fifteen dollars each, except for the two packs, but it cost you thirty. So we got Force Captain Adora. I like this photographer, uh, stylist Audra Bennett. She gets credit. Well, you for know what? That would that. be fair. I I used to style pony hair for people. So and these are all they come out of the box. This is how they're gonna you they styled them up to, for the photos. There's a. Uh, a weird, odd, supposed to be fat, but weird pear-shaped S glimmer. <laughs> skinny, thin, skinny. It's, she's just weird. Skinny, fat. She's skinny, just fat weird. Glimmer. Um, Bo, um, looks like someone greased him up. I have no words. He just looks... <laughs> what? He, look at him. He's all shiny and weird. Like, he looks like he's been greased. The anyway. Grease, greased up his shaft, you know, for anyway, his arrows. It, that's right. And his then, arrows. That's what I'm talking on. about. And then they have Catra. Not spiky enough. No, people were mad about that. They said, okay, but I do appreciate the stirrup pants. It, that is a nice uh, little homage to the 80s. And then uh, now we have the two pack. And those wings are the real wings. Yeah. The takeaway is those are the wings, guys. This is actually off of He-Man.org. Here's, here's the set in the wild. And they flap. Oh, like, not supposed to be out yet until next until Yeah, next I guess they've been, they've been spotted early. So uh, She-Ra is bigger. And the wings do flap. So how do the wings flap? Wait, do you have to move up and down? Is that what they're telling you to do? There's no button. You have to move it up and down your hand. You have to shake your hand up and down. Is that what's going on? I think so. Wait, wait, wait. Their flapping action is you have to move the horse up and down. I don't know. Or you grab his ass. I don't know. Is there what... like a lever there? He's got like a, like a handle on his back. I think that's what that is. So wait, okay. I'm confused because the way the picture looks is how you flap his wings is you shake up and down. Geeky wants this. She no, wants to I dress don't. up like Shira. I want to dress up like real Shira. I don't want to dress up like, you know, knock off Shira. Knock off Shira. <laughs> yeah, so those wings were real. People are like, oh, those wings are just, uh, they're just placeholders. It's Photoshop. No, nope. no, no, they're real. Nope, and apparently real. you have to move your horse up and down for the wings to move. Got to stroke your um, horse. That's just weird. That's uh, just weird. Yeah. Um. So there are the dolls. Uh, They're coming out. They're going to be out next month in uh, Target. Target. Yeah, Target. I'm sorry. I was distracted by reading things. So don't read, don't think. That don't just read, distracts. Don't think. But my point is, so these just pop up out of nowhere. They look kind of thrown together, and that and, and they're these are the sheer. I mean, especially Swift one. Swift one looks like garbage, and they threw them together. Meanwhile, we're still waiting for these from last year when La they promoted promoted these at, at PowerCon. Right, last year PowerCon they promoted. These amazing, amazing 12 inch uh, She-Ra dolls. And they actually had Masters of the Universe to go with them. They, they did, had, and I'd buy all of them. Yeah, they had a He-Man, a Teela, and an Evil Win, I yeah, think, I'd and buy, a Sorceress. I'd, a sorceress buy, too. I'd buy every one. These were I freaking would. awesome. Everybody wanted these, everybody wanted them, and they're nowhere to be found. No, but we get, we get the other ones. But my point is, He-Man, they're promoting this. You know, months, more than a year ahead, they're promoting these toys coming. Yeah. For, you know, a year, more than a year ahead. The sheer ones literally just shut up like a week ago. Here you go. Boom. No, they weren't promoting it. When the show came out, they didn't They didn't give out shout outs or anything. Mm. Now they're doubling down. It's almost as if someone jumped all over them for it and called out that they weren't promoting it because somebody else said it first. Hmm. And now, and now, you know, they're clearly promo promoting the heck out of this. But she were just, it just shows up. Yeah, it's uh, it's weird. Uh, yeah, it is weird because the these are going to be in development for a while. I have a feeling they're probably going to try to remake the entire line in this style, which I'm I'm cool with. I don't know what they're going to cost. They're obviously back in the '80s. They were like five bucks. I I guarantee oh, you they're going to be that. probably ten or fifteen if they're I'm retail. Guessing. Probably fifteen, I would guess. Uh, I, I'm going to buy the shit out of them though. Just so you how know. do you buy the shit out of something? I don't know. I'm going to. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna I don't like plastic. I don't think you can really. I'm going to totally buy these. Uh, I love these. I love these. Yeah, I like them too. But I'm just saying, I just think it's an interesting tale of two, uh, tale of two toy lines. Yeah. That are a part of the same line, but you have one side that's being, you know, pampered and taken a year and mm -hmm. a half to come out. You know, here get everybody excited. Yeah. And then you have the other one where we're just like, just you know, it. it looked like you know, kit bashed pieces from Monster High, Barbie, and DC Superhero Girls. Oh, they got and... scare glow too. There you go. I wonder if it glows. Yeah. Staff does. I can tell about the plastic color. Now they they teased these last year though, and everybody wanted them. I know. And I they did. didn't bring them out. Um, I mean, I have the one. 
Because I had it out. Yeah, the Shira. You do have Shira, and they're bringing I want they're the other ones. bringing Starburst Shira out. But again, it's you know these other characters. Are, look at that glimmer. I know. Look at that hair. She's not skinny fat. She's, look at that hair. She's hot glimmer. Hot glimmer. I just want to brush the hair. Yeah, I know. I know. Look at all her hair. So it's there, a lot of hair. there was a uh, a Comic Con panel. Oh God. Uh, should we read about what happened at the Comic Con? Well, panel? first of all, I saw the trailer for the third season. It's more of the same. It really is. It's, it, oh, oh, but Catra's got a whip now. I mean, Catra had a whip before. It isn't a new thing. And you know, is this the one you're on? Yeah. So okay. it's Beastman. Beastman. Yeah. So I'm just like, that's not new. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. Okay. So uh, two weeks out from the show's August second season three premiere, showrunner Noel Stevenson gave fans exactly what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Exclusive new content and special insight Not from this creators fan. and actors. Shira panel attendees were also treated to a large dose of geek love and some big deal spoilers. Well, then why would you want to know that? It ruins the whole show. Well, all six episodes. Yeah. I'm just saying. A lot of, a lot of cosplayers. I, I can't imagine all the cosplayers. They never show the audience. You ever no. notice this? They say about how popular it is. It's the biggest thing ever. They never show the audience. We had last year. Okay. And this isn't to brag. This is true, though. This is a humble brag. We were a much smaller channel. We were a much, much smaller channel. We were under 10,000 subs uh, this time last year. And we sniped the live stream, Sci-Fi's live stream. That was in New York Comic Con. At New York Comic Con for Shira, And they had like 50 people watching. We had like 550 people watching. Yeah, oh, we had more and, than that. It was over 1,000. Yeah, we, we were under under 10,000 subs at that point. Um, maybe the She-Ra army has grown since then. But. I don't know, but they keep saying about, you know, oh, the show, how big and popular it is on Netflix, but you never see any numbers on Netflix is doing bad, which is a whole other video. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, for all these, you know, fans and numbers, you're just not seeing it. Even the doll sales, some of the, like originally when they put them on eBay, like the, the two pack from San Diego, they originally, when it first got up a lot, they, they sold for a lot more money. And now the prices are dropping already yeah. because people who wanted them already bought them and there wasn't that many people who really wanted them, I guess, because now it's already going. The Super 7 figures went for a lot of money at one point though. They the Catra, still do. Sure. Yeah, well the Catra actually looks like show Catra with well, the hair. Well, if and they the... sell, they people want a lot of money for them. But that doesn't mean no. they're selling. That means well, people are asking a lot of money for them. So the audience was a sea of Shira cosplayers with a sprinkling of fans cosplaying other characters. From beginning to end, the panel was a giant love fest. Oh, God. Marcus Scribner shared that he felt completely overwhelmed at his first ever Comic-Con. Uh, Amy Carrero teared up when she discussed how happy it made her to see the Shira fans out supporting the show. A ton of them. S Stevenson asked all the Shira cosplayers in the audience to stand up and be recognized. All five panelists reveled in and seeing their love I'm sure of the they, show. Yeah, revel is about right. How uh, they revel, they revel a lot. Anyway, the, go ahead. The characters reflected back in the eyes of the fan. The, see, here's the difference. Who writes this shit? Here's <laughs> the thing. Like they very, and again, this is that Tumblr mindset with this show is that they've been very, very, and I'll, I'll give them that. They're very focused on the fans. But I think Wait, Mattel, the fans of what? The fans of their version of Shira. Their version of Shira. Yeah, you better clarify that. Their They've version of Shira. They've been very disrespectful to the, original, to the fans. original fans. Extremely, which is a big part of the problem here, is the, the disrespect that's been shown to original Shira fans is, I'd say, a large chunk of the problem. But go ahead. But you're hearing about you know the fan art and the cosplay and all that. And they that, never that, show it. They always that's, talk about it. Yeah, well, that's true. They show the fan art. But that that's great. Mattel, on the other hand, is like, we got to sell stuff. We got to sell stuff. We're in the business of selling toys. Uh, you know, they're going to sell a shit ton more of those vintage He-Man figures than yeah, they are oh, definitely. the Target She-Ra dolls. If they had done the same thing, like you said, with She-Ra and made super articulated She-Ra's with brushable hair from the 1980s, they'd sell the shit out of them. I mm -hmm. mean, they would sell a ton of they those. They would sell them to He-Man collectors, too. Yeah, they would. They'd sell Because He-Man, they, they re-released almost all the She-Ra characters in um, the Classics collection. Now they had molded hair, but they they pretty that was much your mistake. It was a mistake, but they pretty much re-released the entire line. I'd have bought them all if they hadn't had and, molded hair. Yeah, they even had space era. That was a deal breaker for me. The stupid molded hair is why I didn't buy them because they had molded hair. And is that not? I mean, that's what happened. Isn't yeah. It? Well, they had the two thousand. I bought you that one. I think you sold it years ago. The two thousand four. Uh, well, Comic Con Shira. Cases where I'm sure you've all been there. You need to pay a bill and you had to sell what you we had. We just had a baby. So <laughs> baby Squid so, King. Baby, baby Squid King, King was, was expensive. So it was expensive. Anyway. Uh, Stevenson said multiple times her favorite scenes were those with the whole cast, Horde and princesses alike, all in one place. They like to bounce off each other. Now, if you go out to Tumblr, I'm sure you'll you see look a lot up of that. Shira and Katra bouncing off of each other. 
you're gonna see some stuff. You're gonna see some <laughs> Sorry. stuff. Well, I'm sure there's some Scorpion Catra too. They talk about the the purity of Scorpio's Spaging. loyalty to Catra. God, it's annoying. Despite the fact that Scorpio's love of Catra is often unrequited, Ash feels the situation is the one which everyone can relate. She explained that everyone has tried really hard in a friendship or relationship, only to have it not reciprocated. Blah blah blah. Feelings. We're talking about feelings. The entire second half so of the panel. So the third season, which is what, like six episodes? It's like six episodes, yeah. Wooey. Um, it's literally a, a fraction of a, a, a 26 episode run. It's not a big deal. Adora is a first one. Stolen from her homeland as a baby. She's not originally from Ethereum. Well, that's the Shira story anyway. Yeah, so blah 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 feelings feelings uh here we have gina davis's character which is okay i guess and uh oh adora's making friends why are we talking about this well adora's making friends with huntara catra's building a gang of her own yeah because we're building friendships friendships oh tongue lasher tongue lasher's in it they're, they're gonna ruin that now where the hell oh my god tongue lasher oh my god they're wait is that tongue lasher no, I don't think so. So wait, they're bringing the snake... Well, Tongue Lasher was in the filmation version. They actually took some of the snake men and they put them right, in the Right, but horde. now they're giving them the rights to use it. Okay, you do not want a character named Tongue Lasher on the Tumblr version of She-Ra. No. <laughs> I just... The fan art. The yeah, fan saying, art. Well, only if Tongue Lasher's a woman. Otherwise, they won't, that's a misogynistic thing and they won't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Uh, so the Horde leader's background, they're going to they are gonna deepen the friendships. The friendships of Hordak and Entrapta. Yeah, yeah, okay. When you think of She-Ra, and you think of Masters of the Universe, you automatically think about who Hordak's best friend is. And his puppy. <laughs> and his, you know... He and, has he has a, a, a bat imp But I'm thing. just saying, it's like a baby when I think wings. of Hordak, my first thought is who he, his best friend is. And they're you know, running through a field with flowers. When you think of Hordak, your first thought should be of Boots and Genocide. Mm-hmm. Because that's not, the evil not, horde. Not his best friend in Trapta. His best friend in Trapta. So, yeah. are they going to brush each other's hair? Well, yeah, because he has hair now. Talk evil to me. Just because they brush each other's hair doesn't mean it's actually dirty. Let's talk about killing those, those, those teenagers. Yeah, the ones that are like realistic teenagers. The yeah, realistic okay. teenagers. All five horde troopers that are. Yeah, so I, you know, I even watched the second season. I don't really give a shit. I want to talk about He Man instead. It's more. Yeah, let's talk about He Man. This looks cool. I hope they don't screw the movie up. This looks cool. This. Eh, not so much. This looks like. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. They but look like the, Monster they're, High. They're dolls. Barbie dolls. They're Barbie dolls. They are. They're, I mean, they're but dolls. what I find hilarious is the, the their whole bullshit anger fest was. In opposition of the whole pretty Barbie look. And I turn around and make Barbie dolls. And they make them pretty and feminine. Yeah, look, skinny waist, boobs, there's bumps there. They don't like Barbie dolls. And she was a problematic because she was pretty, even though the people that created her said that they deliberately were trying to steer away from that. And they go and make Barbie dolls. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, so um, clearly Mattel, clearly Mattel loves He-Man more than She-Ra. Uh, He-Man, Adam is the favorite in the family. Adam is a favorite in the family for sure. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Evil Lynn with Jaundice gets gets more love than Adora does. <laughs> Evil Lynn with Jaundice. So I love these. I but look at the cards. These. I mean, they're even nice. I mean, that's the card. Masters of the Universe. He-Man. Yeah. And then we got. Wait, where did it go? Where's the boxes? You have it up here somewhere. And then we got this. And it's all rainbows. It's because of the Care Bear stare they do. Um, and, you, and of course, you have to move up and down for wing flapping action. <laughs> Horse, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> horsey with, with fapping action. I mean, yeah, wait, I mean, that's basically what they're showing. Wing fapping action. I'm just pointing that out. Swifties got fapping action. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm so, I mean, look, I'm sure they've got... Tumblr's not going to buy these. Tumblr's not good. Although I think you're going to have adults trying to squeeze their asses into this costume. Uh, Tumblr's it's cheaper than buying the ones online. Yeah, Tumblr's not going to buy these, but I'm I'm going to buy the hell out of these when they come out. I'm just telling you. We're I might not buy a couple this year, only because I'm going to take them and, and and put them on the video to see how how they are. Well, what you need and to I'll do compare them to DC Superhero Girls and Monster High Dolls because I have both. They're probably the same face molds. I have them. We'll compare. God, I love these so much though. I, I can't wait for these to come out. 
So I love the commercial. You need to go see the commercial. Go watch the commercial, nothing else. Go watch commercial. So yes, Mattel loves He-Man more than She-Ra. It is official. There you go. Heard so, it here first. You heard it here first. So we're going to wrap this one up. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Yep. Go brush some hair. Go brush some hair for me. Don't, don't fap. Wing fapping act action. I know. I, I'm just looking at you like, why would you say that? Your internet parents are telling you not to because... She'll go blind. And you can't watch our videos if you go blind. But you can't see us anyway. You can just listen to them. Don't don't use logic. Just have a good day. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.